Okay, everybody. Welcome back to Tenting with Keith. Episode 10, Alberni Inlet. That's right. A couple fun things going on. Episode number 10. 10 episodes. Wow. It's been a blast. I'm discovering so much. Having a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are uh, are enjoying the show. And uh, I'm going to keep doing them. I really, really do enjoy getting out in a boat and exploring. Um, I'm just about to head out on my next little adventure. So yeah, I'm heading to Port Alberni. So currently I am on the west coast of British Columbia, the east coast of Vancouver Island, and I'm going to be driving over to the west coast of Vancouver Island to Port Alberni. It's about an hour drive from Nanaimo. Uh, from there, I'm going to be uh, getting on a, a boat, a little fishing vessel with a good buddy from work, and we are going to head out to the end of Alberni Inlet which will take us out to Barkley Sound, which is basically the west-west coast of Vancouver Island to the Pacific. And uh, there we're hoping to uh, do a little bit of fishing. I've got my Tidal Waters fishing license, so saltwater fishing license. I have a salmon tag. I believe we're good for legally one halibut per day each and the salmon tag. One salmon, I'm not really sure of the species, but uh, my knowledgeable captain will let us know what's up. So yeah, we're going to do some fishing tomorrow, uh, get the drone out, get some footage of, 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 the, of the surrounding area, and see if we can't catch some fish. So yeah, guys, welcome back, episode 10. We'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. All right, good morning everybody. It's Sunday morning. It's ungodly hour of 5 a.m. I guess that's what fisher people do is they get up early to chase the fish. So I'm a fisher people now, so uh, we're gonna go catch some fish. We're at the uh, Harbor Key in Port Alberni. We're gonna head down to Alberti Inlet. I think it's 40K to Barkley Sound. I got uh, I got Captain Ron in the background here with me. He's gonna guide me and show me how to catch a fish and see if we can't get something to eat and fry something up later for dinner to go with our beers. Either way, it's gonna be a good day. It's a brand new territory for me and I'm super excited. So yeah, let's get this day started. Let's rock and roll. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody, we're back and we're out on the water. We got set up. We're just outside of the little village of Bamfield where we're going to be holding up for the night. But uh, just uh, doing a little bit of trolling for salmon while we wait for uh, wait for the fuel to open up in Bamfield. So, yeah, here we got uh, a little bit of a setup that's brand new to me. I've only fished once on the ocean before. Uh, shout out to Paul Newman. He's he got me uh, got me out there and got me a nice rock cod and it was it was a good day and good eating. But uh, so this is my second time actually doing it, so it's all brand new. So I'm gonna describe what's going on here. Right here we got a downrigger right here behind me. Basically that's a weighted line that can set your 
fishing lines to a predetermined depth. So he's got two lines attached to this downrigger, two fishing rods. The rods are only out 20, 30 feet behind us. They're 20 feet, 20 foot intervals. One's I think at 60 foot, the other one's at 40 foot. Uh, I guess that is supposed to discourage entanglement, which I guess can still happen. But uh, so yeah, we're going for a little trolling of salmon, co coho or spring we're gonna try and get. Targeting uh, spring. Targeting spring. Um, we got a couple, this is the lures we're using, the tackle. Some of this stuff here, this is your uh, salmon trolling spoon. White hoochie and anchovy to catch the, uh, catch the salmon. So we're gonna just uh, hang out here, do the trolling. We're trolling at about two miles per hour. We'll see what happens. The worst that can happen is we'll run out of gas and have a pile of beer. Okay, we'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, so the salmon fishing didn't quite go as planned. We got a little skunked. So we're just went to Banfield, fueled up. Now we're at the end of the inlet and we're out into some rough waters. Wow, it's pretty crazy. Rolling out. What are we doing? 20, 30k when we're going? 20 all day. Just bouncing over big rollers. It's, it's quite the adrenaline rush. But there's reefs, shallow reefs popping up. We're gonna go have a look at those and then we're gonna get out to the halibut fishing grounds. We got a halibut on. Halibut on! Halibut on! <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, it's a keeper. Okay, here. That's me. Are you gonna pick that? Are you gonna pick that up? Yeah, just through there. It's gonna bite me. <laughs> there he is. First <laughs> halibut. The big man after puking. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we got another one on. Fish on. That's a good one. <laughs> this one ain't no joke. Sterling was busy. Cat and Ron. We got one, bro. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it right there. Holy. Sunday afternoon we're back at the dock as you can see it was a rough little go for me for a bit there but uh, but we managed to we did well to recap we uh, we did a little trolling of salmon in the inlet we got skunked we went out about 4k past the entrance to the inlet Barkley Sound um, 
for halibut. We put halibut uh, lines out. We managed to catch two halibut. In between catching the two halibut, I was I was chumming for salmon. It, it was a beautiful day, but still there were some good rollers out there. And if you think you're the guy that's not gonna get sick out there, <laughs> that's what I thought. It doesn't matter if you don't wanna get sick. If you don't think you're gonna get sick, your body doesn't, you don't control your body when it comes to that. It was crazy. I was so ill out there. Every time I got sick though, I always seemed to feel better. I laid down on the cabin floor on my foamy for, for a little bit well uh well captain ron did a little Sorry, fishing yes. on his own and uh we come back in i feel great we pulled a crab trap we got a one good legal size crab but uh before we start cleaning fish up we're hungry so we're gonna do a little cooking so we're gonna something simple some potatoes slice up some potatoes fry those onion we're gonna do that up for a little french fry snack we got some moose. got some moose meat seasoned in something. It's going to be good. Looks like garlic chunks, ginger maybe. We're going to do that up. We're going to have a snack because we are hungry. So I'm going to uh, sign off for now and uh, we're going to get eaten and we'll see you guys a little later. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Shout out to Lisa for the great uh, addition to this dock side barbecue, marinated in garlic and a bunch of other goodies. So yeah, it's a good day now. I feel way better. I got some food in my tummy. This is the first food of the day. I'm starting to get a little hangry, but we're good now. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you later for bedtime. Cheers, everyone. Okay, Sunday evening we had our dinner. So that was good to get the billy full after a day of adventure. So in the evening now we come out, we're gonna try a little bit of salmon fishing. Finish that up off for the night. See if we can get uh, get lucky with a salmon strike. We're all legal. Not that I have to ask because everything Sterling does is legal. Okay, we'll report later before bedtime to see how legal beagle. Legal Sterling, Legal Beagle, Robinson? Yeah. Robinson Crusoe. Okay guys, I'm not sure if you can see me too well, but it's it's getting dark and getting about time to uh, head to bed. Um, so I'm gonna hunker down on his, on his little fishing vessel here. It's a perfect spot. I got enough room for my cot. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just uh, watch a movie, call it a night. There is cell service out in Bamfield, so lucky for me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. We're going to do a little bit more. I think we might fish for a little rock cod in the morning and then head home. And that'll be the end of another great adventure. But uh, yeah, one more night out. I hope I get a good sleep. It wasn't that great last night, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, good night, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow. Fish on! Oh, he's got a killer. <laughs> this guy can slay him. That's a beauty. <laughs> oh! Look at that sucker. What is that? That's a rock. God damn. Don't break my rod. <laughs> it's gonna be nine inches now. Set the crab pots. Got two little small ones. One bigger one by the looks of it. One legal, two throwaways. Try again somewhere else.
Okay guys, well, we made it back to Port Alberni in one piece. <clears throat> the boat never sank. It was a crazy, epic trip. Many firsts for me on this trip. Uh, first time going to Barkley Sound on the west coast of Vancouver Island. First time fishing for halibut. First time catching halibut. Um, first time really learning about seasickness to the nth degree. That wasn't so much fun, but it was more than made up for with all the great fishing and uh, and the and the adventure that came with that. Um, seeing bears, seeing bald eagles, catching fish. Epic trip. Such a great adventure. I'm so excited I got to do it. Tonight I'll be going home and cooking up a little bit of fresh halibut for dinner. Um, so yeah, shout out to Lisa again for the great food that she provided for us while we were out there. Huge shout out to Sterling for bringing me along and letting me have a, a good time and taking care of all the all the business that comes along with this uh, crazy hobby called sport sport fishing. Um, so yeah. That was uh, episode 10, Alberni Inlet, Bamfield, Barkley Sound. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you again on the next show. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Bye-bye.